Hi folks, Nathan here. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use our note system. So this is one that we've got a lot of requests for recently, so let's give you a good overview of how it works. So the first thing we want to do is on our left side menu, head to notes and then go notes. And that will open up our note window here. So we're going to go first of all to new note. We're going to give it a name. Let's call it as 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 because that's always a nice fun name and we're presented with this blank slate for our notes. So notes are made up of a number of different fields which we can customize. So we're gonna click on add note field and you can see we have these options. So folder, horizontal line, media, text, token image or icon, stat block, size, and vision. So we're gonna add one of each of these to show you how it works and how you can use it. So first off, we're going to add a folder. So we're going to call it folder, hit confirm, and we have this folder here. And what this will do is let us drag fields into it so that we can categorize our note better. Next up is the horizontal line, and this just adds a nice visual line. So now if you want, we can click and drag this into the folder, and now it's in the folder, and then we can click and drag it back out if we don't want it there. Next, we have our media field. We're going to leave the name of this one empty. This is where we drag video and images that we either want to have in our notes or that we want to show our players later. So we're just going to head to the content library for this one, go to user generated content, find a good map tile. I'll load for a second. Let's go, let's just put this arrow in here. So we're just going to click and drag this arrow into our media field, and there we go. Now we have an arrow here for our media field. The next field type is text, which is where presumably most of your notes are gonna happen. So we can just type as needed. This is a bunch of text. Um, the note field is gonna expand and contract as your notes require. And you can see we have our options up here for text. So if we select our text, we can say bold and underline, and we can use this stuff here to set our text properties as needed. So we've given you a what you see is what you get editor, so you can't put your own custom markdown in, you can only use the options that we provide, but it means that you don't have to worry about knowing how to do markdown or HTML code or anything like that. Right. Our next field is the token image slash icon. This is very similar to the media field, but the big difference is that this affects how your note looks when it's on the map here. So by default, if I drag this onto the map, you can see that it has this appearance here, which is the default note icon. But if I grab something from the content library, let's say, what's a nice good one? Grab the Arc and Forge logo, drag you in here, and now when I drag this onto the map, you can see that the Arc and Forge logo is our note. And when we double click on it, then it will open up the note for it. So I believe all content type is currently supported for this except for grouped. So you can't create a group preset and then set that as a token. You can only use a single image, animation, or video. Next up is our stat block. Oh, before I get to that, you'll notice that some of these fields, you can only have one off per note and it will gray itself out once it's reached its limit. So stat block, we'll leave this one empty. This gives us a nice block that we can add our stats to and we have three different types of fields. The first is a single stat field. This just gives us a single number that we can update or put in some text. The next one is a split stat field. This one gives us a number above and a number below. So if we're doing something like tracking mana or health. And finally, we have the min max stat field. And this one here actually does some simple calculation. So I'm gonna set the bottom HP and the top. We're going to drag our token into the world here, and then you can see we have this eye icon. 
If we click on that, it's going to add this ring to our token. And as we update this, it's going to update that ring value. So right now you can only have one of these active at once. So if I add a new one, let's go to five and seven, you'll note if you try and set the top number higher, it will automatically set it to the value of the bottom number. So if I go show this one, then I can only have one ring active at once. Our next one is a size field, and this affects how the token is sized on the map. So as we adjust the object size, we can go two squares. You can see that it's now two by two, one square, half a square, etc. So this here is what you use for your tokens in order to size them perfectly to the grid. And finally, we have a vision field. This here also affects what happens on the map, and this interacts with our fog of war system. Um, I won't go through all these settings in this video. We have a different tutorial for that. So head to the um, setting up tokens for vision tutorial, and that will explain what this vision field does. So now we can reorder these fields as needed. So you'll see I can just chuck it there and it will reorient itself. If I want to remove things, I have this little section here. I just right click and I get all my options and then I can go remove field and it will delete it. I can undo and redo anything I do here. So if I accidentally delete a field, I can just undo it and it'll come back. And yeah, the last thing we need to know is with our text fields, we can add content linking. So if I grab any content, let's just say this cabin on here, I can click and drag it into our text field and it will create a clickable link. When I click on that, it's gonna open up our, whatever link we've got there. So we can do notes, we can drag say, what have we got here? This clock ambience. So if I now play that, You can hear the clock going in the background there. And then you can click it again to stop. And yeah, that's a nice overview of our entire note system. So I hope that's helpful and good luck getting all your notes and whatnot set up in the toolkit. That's all for this video. Bye.